So hello YouTube, let me show you the problem. I have cloned the hard drive to the SSD and for it to initiate boot time it takes forever. So I'll be showing you how to fix this thing and it is quite easy. So you know what, I let it boot into Windows and I'll show you what to do next. Ok, for this repair you'll need to have a Windows 10 USB. So if you do not know how to create one I will be posting the video in the links down below. So I've hidden the desktop icons because this is not my computer. So what I will be doing is actually pressing start, then clicking on power and holding the shift button on my keyboard and choose restart. Sometimes this thing works, sometimes it does not. I will be choosing troubleshoot, uh, UEFI firmware settings and before I do that I will be inserting my USB stick into my uh, computer. Now, computer will boot into BIOS, well boot, go to the uh, UFI settings firmware which is, well, BIOS. In here there are a couple of settings that you need to uh, select. So we have entered the BIOS, so let me walk you through settings, let me see if there is anything that we actually need to change, no. So first of all what we need to change is the Sting boot option. Uh, and uh, choose boot option number one to be our USB stick and boot option number two is the uh, Windows boot. Second of all we need to choose the uh, secure boot menu and in there we have to choose disabled. If this thing is enabled it will not work. Now we have to click save and exit. Now if you do not have a USB stick you'll probably need to disable secure boot and then enter the BIOS and the uh, USB stick will be there. Now uh, we'll boot into uh, recovery mode of Windows 10. So, uh, I'll be choosing Croatian keyboard because I live in Croatia, but you can <coughs> obviously leave the one you have. Next thing we need to do is click on repair your computer. I'm sorry, I was a bit faster because I do this thing by default. And the next thing we need to do is click on troubleshoot. Okay, and then command prompt. Okay, awesome. Now what we need is the utility called the disk part. And we need to list all volumes, list volumes. Volumes, okay. Sorry, list volume, just a sec, okay. So there are a couple of things that you need to remember. For example, the one uh, in here we have the label OS, which is the operating system, but uh, this is the drive C. Sometimes this can be a letter D. So the important thing is that you recognize your drive C. For example, this one is 203 gigabytes, so it's obviously that one. And the next thing we need is this one. As you can see, the uh, system one, which is FAT32, and the uh, label system. You have to remember that. Uh, your label can be different. It is, but it's always the same, but it can be different. So the next thing we need to do is actually select volume 3. So as you can see this is volume 3 system. The one that's uh, file system is FAT32. So select, how oh, about help, volume 3. And now that we have selected volume 3 we need to assign letter, let's say Z. Okay, we have assigned letter Z. Now we do not need this utility anymore and we are going to type exit. Okay, exit. Now what we need to do is uh, format this uh, Z, Z drive. So Z drive and if we type dir, as you can see we have e EFI, we do not need that. So format Z and we need to format it as FS, file system, FAT32. And we will be prompt for, uh, well, the uh, label. And this is, in my case, system and it's probably in your case as well. Do you want to lose everything? Yes. Yes. Okay, fuck off. And I will be typing the letter system just so that it remains the same. Okay, we have formatted the system. So the next thing we need to do is to type bcd boot. So C, Windows, again C drive Windows, slash S, and now this drive that we have labeled, I have labeled it as Z, you can label it as anything, slash F, UFI. And that's it. The entire procedure is done and we can exit and we'll turn off our PC and let's see how fast this thing will actually boot now. So let's turn it on. Now the first boot might be a bit slower but the second one won't.
So yeah. Okay, so it started to boot and it did take some time, but, so I'm sorry, I needed to uh, hide the uh, user because, well, I'm fixing the computer. And now, if we turn off the computer, okay, it should boot faster. Okay, so it is off, just a second, yes, and now let's try to see if it will boot faster. And as you see, it's booting faster. And there it is, there's your fix. Well, until the next time. If you liked this video, please click thumbs up. If you did not, well, you know what to do. Uh, and yeah, subscription would be awesome. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave them down below and uh, I'll try to answer them if I know how to answer them. So until the next time. Bye.